every time I've storyboarded for Peter, there's always been something in the movies. There's always been something that I've had to storyboard, even right back on Brain Dead, especially back on Brain Dead. But there's always been something that I've just thought, oh man, that is that is going too far. And generally, it's the thing people who talk about the films love. The the idea here was to you know, seamlessly blend between a real legless and digital legless, which happens about right here, just before he mounts the tusk. And so, um, you know, I had to be quite careful in matching textures and uh, getting the shaders to behave exactly as Orlando's costume behaved. We have plates where we photograph Orlando Bloom against a blue screen, and he has to do impossible things that you could never have a real actor do. The idea here is Legolas is supposed to be standing on the front leg of a mummy kill, jumping to the back leg of a mummy kill. You know, we're trying to figure out how we can get this to work. And this is what we ended up with. So you can see it's quite a bit different. Uh, really, the only thing we preserved from the, the blue screen was a few frames of, of Legolas' face, which we attached to the, the digital actor in, in a few key places. And the rest of it was reanimated entirely. Because the sandbags that Legolas is climbing onto is static, Legolas is sort of just in his mind trying to sort of mimic what the, the mimica would be doing, sort of changing weight and that sort of thing. And then with what Legolas is doing, I've got to try and animate the, the mama kill to make it look as though it's the mama kill pushing around Legolas, not Legolas sort of just acting on his own to some sort of timing reference. There's a few artists here that are, that are particularly good at that that sort of morphing technique. And what we've done is we've we've tried to match our CG Legolas as closely as we can to the physical Legolas that was photographed against the blue screen. 